Next, we paid a visit to the Iams Nature Reserve near Knoxville, Tennessee. It was cool. Just a little visitor center. Well, you start at the visitor center. There's some ponds and there's just some a little area for the kids or whatever. <laughs> yeah, my favorite part. Yeah, you're uh, you know you're only you know you have to grow up. You don't have to no, you have to grow old. You don't have to grow up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I, that's why I had a good time there. No. Yeah, there are a couple of trails too. Yeah, there were there. Yeah, that's right. There were trails. So you start at the visitor center, but there's different trails, which were really nice. Yeah. Right, the Tharp Trace. This was named after some lady, and then it was really cool. It was really steep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it, really it took steep. you past a little cemetery, and then up to the peak of this mountain where you could overlook a quarry. I think that's that might be the quarry right there, or part of it, or one of them. Yeah, right now it's just all these trees are covering it. Can't see much, but it's so green. Yeah. All right, so here's the cemetery. It was weird, just way up in the middle of the hillside. I don't know why I'm standing like that, but I, there was something to read. Maybe a, it was just, it was cool in a way. Yeah, the overgrown cemetery. And right, this is maybe from the peak. I'm looking at the quarry. I'm giving my lecture on quarries 101. Yeah, like I don't know anything about quarries. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very beautiful blue turquoise. Right. Oh yeah, now it's time for my fitness routine. So you can get a secret into what keeps me looking so good. Yeah. Start off on a log, do a half jump corkscrew, stick the landing, climb up another log. Don't lose your balance. It was tough, it was kind of scary. I didn't go down that log the other way. It was way too scary, I just jumped down. Yeah, now we're at the bottom of the quarry. Is that how you say it? No, no, if we were at the bottom of the quarry, we'd be underwater. But there's a little path that led down to the quarry. I'll let down the quarry. And then there's, there's a bunch of dogs there. Yeah, I remember these two ladies with the dogs. Mm-hmm. And then this, maybe this maybe was my favorite part. It was a yeah, boardwalk along the Tennessee River. It was cool. The yeah, the boardwalk was over the river most of the way, and you could see a long way. It was cool. Now we're exploring downtown Knoxville for the second time, really, because we'd been here before. I think in, it was 2016, our very first road trip out of the your parents' Toyota Rav4. Yep, car camping <laughs> that time. That was interesting. But no, this time around Knoxville was really nice. I mean, it was a great, beautiful day. A lot of stuff going on. It was Mother's Day, in fact. That's right. And yeah, there was music and lots of stuff going on. It was cool. Yeah, of course. I got to have my photo shoot. Photo shoot. Look how happy we were. <laughs> Keyword, were. No, I'm just kidding. Is this this orange sun dome that thing was cool? I think it's called a sun sphere. Sun sphere, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not like I've ever heard of it. It's not like anyone ever ever has heard of it who's not from Knoxville. So give me come some slack. You seem happy. <laughs> hey, I gotta get more photo shoots too. I know, I know. The photo shoots never ended. <laughs> and then we got some pizza, which was... I don't want to call it lackluster. It was okay. Those green stripes were, were, were was ricotta with basil. It was kind of... Not the best I've ever had. It was, it was experimental, I'll give it that. But, um, it was pretty good. Alright, enough about the pizza. Then this is maybe the older section of town. Which was cool. Need, need to see the old architecture. Well, it's not a great example. There's some other cool buildings. <laughs> Maybe that. <laughs> Take my word for it. It was.
Our journeys next took us through Chattanooga, Tennessee. We didn't really see much of the city, but we did stop up in Signal Mountain to go to Lookout Mountain. Stopped at this little grocery store, got some sandwiches, and then ate them at Lookout Mountain. Is this beautiful overlook of, oh gosh, is that the Tennessee River? I don't even know what river, a beautiful river. I uh, went to Point Park. That was the site of Civil War, maybe this battle for Chattanooga. A really big Civil War battle where the Union troops were up on this mountain. I think the Confederates were pretty much sieged the mountain. It's a pretty epic battle, so I'm checking out the cannons. It was called, the, I do remember it was called, I think called the Battle in the Clouds because sometimes when the weather's right, the clouds or like mist will hang around the, the peak of the mountain, so you're essentially in the clouds. So there was a lot, a little bit of uh, museum and stuff devoted to that. And even more amazing, I know this, probably the mountain itself, but definitely the surrounding area was inhabited by Native Americans. Yeah, right down there. It's kind of shaped like a foot or a boot or whatever. I know there's a ton of archaeological evidence of Native Americans inhabiting in there. And there was talk a little bit about it in this museum, too. I'm not the biggest Civil War buff in the world, so a lot of the info was kind of lost on me. But it was still impressive. I don't learn a lot. on the side of the mountain. I think that was dedicated to the you know Pennsylvania volunteer unit or something like that. <laughs> no disrespect to the Pennsylvania volunteer unit if that's who they were, you know, something from Pennsylvania. And then yeah, big monument. Yeah, a great view of Chattanooga and the surrounding area. Mm-hmm. The following day we returned to Signal Mountain. Not Lookout Mountain, like I called it in the last video, which that was where Point Park was. This is Signal Mountain. And we started our hike at Signal Point. It was the hike to Edwards Point. It was pretty cool. It was a trail kind of on the side of the mountain. And it was strenuous. Yeah, I agree. I'd say. It was a lot of, it was pretty flat, but a lot of leg work, you know, up and over roots and over rocks, over, you know, this and that. So I think it was about three miles too. Hmm. I remember. So it was pretty long. That sounds about right. Yeah, it was a great workout. And it was really pretty. Poison Ivy. That's what I remember. This place ought to be called the Poison Ivy capital of the world. Now it just came back to me. There's Poison Ivy on each side of the trail. And don't you dare stray from that trail. You'd be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just remembered. Yeah. Yeah, this is our first overlook. That's right. Can we see the waterfall from there? Or was that from maybe from a different one? No, I think that was that was it. But okay. I didn't, yeah. You could see just... a waterfall off in the distance. It was you probably wouldn't show up to it on camera, but it was cool to see it in real life. Yeah. And now here's the the test of courage. The work of the old bridge. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Oh, it was really fun. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to cross a suspension bridge or a raging river? It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss that. skills there we go that's better yeah i think this is edwards point now yeah yeah you finally made it kicking my legs like a little child trying to entertain myself <laughs> until we turn around <laughs> and we went back and ate lunch if i recall it was like an extremely garlicky bean soup and i, I mean extremely garlicky do you remember? And then yeah. ice cream, Lo local ice cream, yeah. melted just the way I like it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good hike. 